Established in 2010 under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain International Air Show is renowned for its world class facilities, providing an opportunity to meet with industry peers and customers and participate in the civil and military delegations program. For more than 10 years, the Bahrain International Air Show has been a platform for business generation for the global leaders of aerospace in the gateway to the Gulf, offering access to high-level delegations within the aerospace community, all within a dedicated arena. It connects the world's aerospace industry in a prestigious environment, offering access to high-level delegations and opening new avenues of opportunities to businesses of all sizes. The Bahrain International Air Show features a host of wonderful exhibits. Among them is the showcasing of the B737-700 Flex Combi aircraft from Texel Air, a Bahraini cargo airline. The craft carries not only cargo, but passengers, and additionally, the craft possesses multiple configurations and the capability for modifications that could serve government, military, and utility needs. We're a regional player, a cargo airline, and um, for us it's an opportunity to show the world uh, part of our services in the region, as well as how Bahrain can play a role in the logistics scene on an international level. For us, um, it, you know, Bahrain Air Show is, is really special to us being a Bahraini operator, um, and we're, we're, we're very excited to be doing this again after such a long time. And for us, it's just a, a great event with so many great people attending and our international colleagues getting to see who we are at, at our home turf. Texel Air is one of many examples of the Kingdom of Bahrain's developments across multiple fields. Well, for us, it's our, our home base uh, event as Texel Air. It's uh, our biggest media event in our calendar. Um, we're very excited to be a part of it again. It's going to be our biggest uh, show in quite some time due to the, the difficulties around COVID. It's been a while since we've done an event, so we're coming back with um, quite a big presence with three different locations at the show between a chalet, a static aircraft and an exhibition stand. This has been Khalid Hidris reporting for Bahrain International Television. The sixth edition of the Bahrain International Air Show 2022 will be held on the 9th till 11 of November under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Majesty, the King's personal representative and chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa is supervising the mega show organized by the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and the Royal Bahrain Air Force. The significance, well, the Bahrain International Air Show has been long awaited and I believe it's time for it to come back and it's only uh, an indication for the aviation recovery. That's what we actually uh, see and business continuity uh, in the sector. For uh, GAA, it's a platform where we can actually uh, meet our stakeholders, uh, be able to, in person for a long time, meet together and uh, discuss what we can actually uh, do together, providing all our uh, products and new technology in, uh, in training. I believe the Bahrain International Air Show would be where the world would feel at home.
our presence uh, in the Bahrain International Air Show would be for reaffirming our position as a training provider in the aviation sector. And uh, GAA has always been supportive, uh, likewise, from the divisions and the government authorities and the stakeholders within Bahrain, who has been also supportive to uh, GAA in providing the training that is required for everybody in Bahrain and internationally. So uh, Gulf Aviation Academy is looking to provide what we have introduced into the market in the realms of training like uh, 3D and virtual reality and integrated uh, reality and these are the the future of training inshallah that's what we foresee GA provides bespoke training for uh, its clients and uh, with our approvals locally especially from the uh, Ministry of Transportation and the Civil Aviation Affairs and GAA being the first uh, center that has been approved by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency outside European soil, we are compelled to provide the best industry standards in our training and best uh, quality. It's where I believe Bahrain's welcoming approach to, uh, to the rest of the world permits us where the regulations uh, are quite flexible and always continue to work with us as stakeholders and the easy entry uh, procedures for uh, our students only make it a best offering for uh, the clients outside. For GAA, well, it's the reach out, it's the market reach out, it's uh, the ability to meet the clients, it's to display our uh, abilities, to make it clear for uh, the aviation industry that uh, GAA is a one-stop shop where we offer training for the pilots, for the engineers, for the cabin crew, for the airport staff, for the uh, regulatory uh, authority staff, for the air traffic controllers. Uh, GAA also has uh, is recognized as the National Security Training Center recognized by uh, ICAO, uh, which is the uh, International Civil Aviation uh, Organization. And with that kind of reach, I believe Bahrain is an ideal choice for uh, all training. Up to leading 120 companies are taking part in the 2022 edition which covers an area of 14,000 square meters. Five countries will have their own pavilions, in addition to the pavilion of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The show has become a premium platform to meet key industry players in the region, provide opportunities for networking and building value-added relationships. Bahrain International Air Show is back again with full of surprises, enjoyment and inspiration. Indeed, these are the results of a previous hard work and preparations. This was Khawla Youssef reporting for Bahrain International TV. Basically, I think the return of the Bahrain International Air Show uh, after the COVID as you know uh, is a big milestone for for Bahrain itself and for the aviation industry. Everyone knows that the uh, the uh, pandemic for the past three years has killed every sector and every aspect of the actual aviation industries. We have seen airlines go bankrupt. We have seen airlines parking their aircraft for months and months. We've seen airlines cutting their you know, laying off their staff by 50%, and some of them even forcing staff to go on, on leave and, and pay cuts. Uh, but I think uh, basically the, the, this return has just shows uh, that Bahrain still has the, uh, the foundation. And I think it came on the right time because we now have the new airport. It's uh, really a state, you know, a, a art, state of an art airport at the moment. 
And what adds that to the airport uh, facility is the services that BAC is actually giving. What we see now, we see uh, very qualified staff at BAC, very qualified staff at the, B the civil aviation themselves. This, I think, in my opinion, uh, encourages people to come. Encourages, you know, it's it's the let's say it's the image. It's the first image that anyone comes to Bahrain. So yes, we have the. I think we have the seed to go f f further for many years with the, with the new airport. Uh, having said that, uh, we have seen also myself for the past few months that. Uh, there are a lot of private and business jets trying to come to Bahrain and to register their aircraft under the Bahrain Civil Aviation uh, Affairs, which is a good indication. Again, Bahrain is well known for their uh, uh, resources of, of people. You know, our really assets are the people. We have a lot of, uh, of Bahrainis educated and uh, uh, they, we have most of them, or let's say, we have a lot of people that have a license and unlicensed in the aviation business. So the Bahrainis love working in their hands. They like to work and then see something in front of them happening. Uh, MENA Cargo comes under uh, MAE Aviation or Aircraft Management. Uh, this company was established. Uh, uh, we started our first flight in December 2021. Uh, we have now currently we have one aircraft. We are getting two more, inshallah, by next month. And we have uh, also another two to three coming uh, next year. Uh, I just want to say th something about, which I, I missed earlier about, about the cargo, is that the cargo is not like the passenger. In a way, way, in a way that the passenger can go, can be affected, you know, you know, big time. You know, we have seen this in the pandemic. No one is flying. Having said that, the cargo is always there. The cargo will go down, the, gar the cargo will not die, but it will, go, will, will escalate, but it will always be there. So what you have seen during those three years, that the uh, actual commercial airlines, okay, they don't have cargo aircraft. What they've done is that they have removed the seats, okay, some of them, they removed the seats, and they, you know, use them for cargo, packaging. They put packages and they put in it to, to use it. And some, with the new aircraft like the 787, have uh, used the seats themselves. Of course, after taking the, the approvals from the national authority, that they can put the packages on top of, of the seats. So the cargo is always there. The, the cargo, in, in my opinion, balances the, the, uh, the aviation in general. Going back to your question, uh, we will have by maximum second quarter of, uh, of next year, we will be having Five, minimum five aircraft or you know cargo five uh, five freighters the plan for that is we have started is we are going to invest in Bahrainis and we've started that role already and uh, we expect that you know when I say invest in Bahrainis I'm talking about engineers I'm talking about post holders and I'm talking about pilots so this program has started and we have the full uh, support from the government and of course Tamkin plays a role in you know in the, the, in the train, train, what I call training the Bahrainis. I think you know what I would prefer to see is the following I'm sure the government of Bahrain is ahead of the game the idea of having an air show is not tick the box high and buy and then see you in 2020 24 I think what we should do I would love to see companies big pairs when it comes to spare parts when it comes to engines they come to Bahrain. We don't have that facility. We have, as I said, we have the infrastructure and we have the right people that we can use. So I really encourage those big players to come to Bahrain and to establish this. And not just that, but also there are specialties, shops, or let's say specialties in some areas that we don't have here. For example, you know, there are things that parts we remove from the aircraft in the, in, basically in the GCC and we have to send them away to, to Europe. But if we can do that, just imagine the amount of business that you will get, okay, and then the saving that will happen for, those, uh, for, for the airlines in that, in that, in that region. So I would like to uh, thank the uh, Ministry of Transportation, and I would like to thank the Bahrain Civil Aviation Affairs for their full support, not just for MENA Cargo, but for, for their support for the aviation industry here in Bahrain. With their help, we can take Bahrain back to where it was in the beginning of the 19th century, where we were leaders in everything, and part of it, we were the leaders in aviation.